Josh! <laughs> Josh! <laughs> Josh! Oh, oh, very good. <laughs> Every one of you, you got my name. <laughs> and after all you've been through, good. Good, 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 good. I mean, how does that feel? Right? How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean, panicked? All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, 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 they're gone. I don't know if you noticed this, Josh, but none of us are laughing. Oh, come, 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 come. Why the long faces? Come on. It's good to get the heart racing every now and then, right? And race they did. I mean, every one of you just pitter pat, pitter pat. I hope you appreciated my little phantasmagorical spectacle. I mean, no detail too small, no happen? opportunity missed. It was such. A delight to play the puppet master to, to all of your Pavlovian panic. <laughs> Are you serious? And all that gore, and gore, there was gore galore, fake bodies. I mean, God, that shit was expensive. And no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you should have seen your faces. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. <laughs> Josh, why are you doing this? Yep. Wait, Don't even what? ask this squirrely little runt. He's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. Well, he's definitely off his meds. Oh, come on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done. M Mike, he's sick. What? Come on, you guys are all gonna thank me when you guys become internet sensations. Wait, what? What? Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got unrequited love. We got, we got blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China to, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking about, you asshat? Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. You are gonna fucking pay, dick! Oh, shit. Um, that is true, though. Jessica is dead. Uh, guys! Guys, come on. Seriously, this is crazy, you know? Shut up. Why'd you hit her, man? Huh? Why'd you have to fucking hit her? Ah! What are you talking you about? You punched Ashley, you piece of shit! Mm. Oh. I got so mad. But he's not the only one, that's what I'm You don't I'm hit a girl! You, you just don't. Dude, dude, Chris. Bro, I, and I'm not your bro. Where are we going? Where are you guys taking me? Locking you up, bro. What? You can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are you serious, bro? Goddamn murderer is what you are. I don't think he is. I didn't do it. I don't Michael, think he please, is. please, just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. Okay, so I really don't think he did it. Um, I think there are other forces at work here. And although Josh does sound like he's off his fucking marbles right now, I for some reason don't think that he's the biggest problem here. I think there are bigger forces at work. I think there are there is someone higher up from him that is a part of this. You have the guy with the flamethrower. Who the hell is he? And he's the one that followed Hannah and Beth into the woods until their death, you have that guy with the wolves, which did not look like the janitor guy at all, or Josh in the mask at all. And that's it. But there's still, at least from what I can think of, th but there's still multiple personalities here. There's still multiple people. There's still all these things that don't make sense. I mean, I get it. Josh says that it was all a joke, that it was all some massive prank that he made with the ghosts that weren't real. But some of it is real. I mean, Beth's 
head? Beth's head is real. There's no way it's not real. What else? I'm just trying to put the pieces together and I... It's really difficult. I don't know what to say, but I know Beth's head is real. And no person in their right mind can do all of this without being crazy. And the pig with the, the guts that are taken out, that were taken out, that was real. The torture room, that was real. The mannequins with, with Sam's clothes on, that was real. What about, um... The wolves are real. We know the wolves are real. Um, the fire is real. It's just... I don't get it. And again, like Mike said, Jessica is dead. So what explains that? I don't think he deserves it. You know what, man? You need to shut up. Chris, hey, come on, Coach. He's... We're partners. Stop. Don't say that. Oh, fine. Be a dick! You only see what you want to see. You're not fine! Me. You are ah, Dude, ah, it's not my I fault. You suckers right. can't take a joke. Oh, oh, wait. Did I hurt you? Did you just... You feel a little, a little bit of pain? Mm. Right now, I am so, so sorry! Ah, stop it! Jesus, dude. Stop! Michael, I'm Mike. sorry, man. What if Mike I is the bad guy? I can't tell you how sorry I am that something happened to Jessica, but I swear, I swear to you, I have no idea what happened to her. Okay, so both of these options seem really offensive and not helpful to the situation at all. Not that it's offensive, it's just not helpful. Um, telling him to shut the fuck up is not helpful. Telling him that we can't trust him is not helpful because even though we can't trust him, what if he's right? What if he isn't the bad guy? What if there's other forces at work, like I said? And I mean, I guess shut the fuck up is a better option. But at the same time, I want to hear things from him. You know what I mean? Like, I want to hear information that could be useful to us to find out what's actually going on. Because for, for this to be a, just a, an elaborate prank, I think it's too much. And I think it doesn't, it still doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense at all. Oh my goodness. We can't trust you or shut the fuck up. What's going to happen if I say shut the fuck up? feel like he'll stop talking but at the same time maybe he will I don't know but if we say we can't trust you then he'll be like fuck you then that'll I don't know that that'll really won't do anything good for us shut the fuck up Josh you can't talk your way out of this one Can't we all just get along? <laughs> ah! Damn it! You crazy son of a bitch. Not dicking around. Snarr. No. This is not how it's supposed to go down. Are you on drugs, dude? You're just like, a bunch of bullies. We're you can't the bullies. Hang out a guy just to try like this, guys. Huh? Not like, what have you been doing? Not like you got the guts to really do anything about it anyways. Stop talking shit. Do I say you're the coward? Or do I continue to tell him to shut the fuck up? You're the coward. How is he the coward? I don't understand that. I mean, he is afraid right now of us actually doing something. <sighs> Fuck, 
this is so difficult. This is the thing with these games, and I'm kind of glad that, because I don't think in The Walking Dead or in any of the Telltale games, you really get the option to just sit here and think about what you're gonna do. You kind of have to make very quick decisions. Um, I could be wrong. Actually, no, there are, there are those moments where you can um, make these types of decisions where you can just sit here and be patient and think and figure out what's right and what's wrong. <sighs> I think it might be better to say you're the coward. We'll see what happens. I hope it's not a butterfly oh, effect. Oh, stuff it. You're the biggest coward there is. Uh-huh. I did something. I made you believe in the world I created. And I showed you parts of yourself you were too afraid to visit. You manipulated us. You tricked us. You hurt your friends. And you did it all while you hid in the shadows. You're a coward, Josh. That's all you are. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Uh. Okay, tie me up now, okay? Stay still, right, man. Right, 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 still. Okay, yeah, tie them up if they're just wiggle around. Gosh, dude. I need me a little wiggle room, huh? What does it take to shut you up? Oh, not so tight, okay? Not so tight, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, but... Those plastic ties, that's where it's... What in God's name is he talking about? This is hard to watch. You ever seen this kind of shit before? Oh, I've never, never seen him like this. Money back. <laughs> God, he's hey, Mike. fucking marbles. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, what? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened. No, no, I, I don't. I got a problem, Mike. You're on drugs. I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. No, I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Why are you pointing that gun on him when there's blanks in there? There's nothing in there. No! Seriously? What, what? Did you think I was gonna shoot him? I... I don't know. Come on, Chris, you know me better than that. Yeah, Chris, you know me better than that. Uh, yeah, well, just next time give me a heads up, all right? <gasps> oh, you poor little piggies. You can't even get your good cop, bad cop routine to work. Leave it to the pros, bros. Why don't you go back to the lodge? Make sure everything's all right. I'll stay here with this lunatic until the morning. Oh, sleepover. <laughs> Can we order pizza? <laughs> you sure you're okay? <laughs> Don't want to know everything's fine back there. Yeah, you're right. See you in the morning. Oh, Mike.